Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and get started with today's video. But before I do, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below, give this video a big thumbs up, and turn on your post notifications. That way you get notified every single time I post a new video. Okay, so January 23rd, um, I got my membrane swept. So after you get that done, they usually say between 24 to 72 hours, you go into labor. That Friday, I really wasn't feeling anything at all. I was cramping a little bit, but nothing too much. So then on Saturday, me and my boyfriend, we went um, to the mall and we walked around for hours. Um, again, I wasn't really feeling anything, just some cramping, nothing, not, nothing too bad. We get home, and we're home for about, like, an hour, I want to say, when I come upstairs, and as I'm walking up the stairs, I can feel, like, something, like, coming out. I, so then, I end up calling my friend to come upstairs so she can check, like, if, it was my water that had broke so then she checks me and she's like yes I think like your water broke so then we started getting everything ready and um, we end up heading to the hospital at this point it's already like 9 30 almost 10 o'clock get to the hospital and I tell them you know I think my water had broke and stuff so then they put me in a room they have me changed they monitor the baby's heart, my contractions and stuff, and maybe about like after an hour, um, they come in and tell me that no, that it wasn't my water, that I had actually just peed myself, because they tested the fluid to see if it was, um, my water that had actually broke, but it wasn't, it was actually pee. So after that, <clears throat> Once we get home, I decide to take a shower, so I'm in the shower and stuff, and as I'm, you know, I'm washing myself, um, and I go to clean myself down there, uh, I notice that, um, mucus was coming out. So then, again, I text my friend to see, like, what it is, she's like, oh, like, it's your mucus plug, um, literally, <clears throat> like, right after that, I, you know, I change and stuff. Um, I start getting contractions. So at this point, you know, I'm timing them. They're like, not even like three minutes apart. And again, I text my friend and I tell her, she's like, just keep on, I'm timing them. So I'm um, lay down, you know, go to sleep, but I couldn't. So then, um, I told my boyfriend that if by 2.30, 3 o'clock, like, they were still like this, that we were gonna go in. It hit, like, 140 and I was like no like let's go we're going to the hospital like no I can't take this anymore well and they you know again put me in the room I changed to the gown and stuff and they had me in this little room for about two three hours I want to say and um they finally seen that yes like you know I was contracting and that they're finally gonna keep me so like around five o'clock um they put me into the um, birthing room after that actually they put me into that room i call my mom we call his mom you know tell them that you know to come come down to the hospital because it was gonna be almost time the contractions were bad but nothing that you know i couldn't handle um i was actually you know sleeping through them pretty well um, around five, six centimeters that I was going to get the epidural because I didn't want it to be too late to get it. And, um, I did not want to feel while I was pushing her out. Getting the epidural, they were checking me, you know, frequently and stuff. Um, they had checked me at seven centimeters and... I was stuck at 7 centimeters for quite some time. So then they had me um, use the peanut ball. And the peanut ball is what actually helped me to um, open up more. And then after that, um, I had called the nurse in because I felt that there was pressure down there. 
And so, like, she checked me. She's like, yep, you're fully dilated. Um, let me go tell the doctor so we can start getting things ready. And at that moment, I just knew that at any minute that she would be here. I was pushing for about half an hour when she finally um, came out. Before pushing, they asked me like if I wanted her right away or if they wanted to clean her off first and then give her to me. I was gonna okay. tell them to um, clean her first and then give her to me, but I was like, no, just give her to me right away when she comes out. So finally, after pushing for about 30 minutes, she was finally here. I was so happy that um, she was finally here. Just being able to hear her cry was just like a big relief to me. Way on my chest and she was just crying and crying and crying and I didn't even care like at that in that moment, like just to have her in my arms was like the best feeling ever. I had finally gotten my biggest blessing. My baby. While I had her on my chest, they did start to um, stitch me up. So yes, I did get stitches. I actually got a second degree tear. When the doctor was finishing like the last two to three stitches, I started to feel them. And I was like, Dude, like I can feel that. I can feel that. And I'm like, they need to hurry up and finish these damn stitches because I can start feeling them. Changed her. They weighed her. Then um, they moved us to a different room and, you know, people came to see her and stuff. And now, and now I have my biggest blessing right here, my baby girl. Say hello. Alright guys, this is where I will be ending today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.